radiant Aten, source of all light, in your embrace, we find our might. Beneath your warmth, our spirits soar, guiding us on this transformative tour. With every dawn, your rays descend, a blessing upon us, our eternal friend. You illuminate the world with grace, in your radiant presence, we find our place. In your divine light, we seek the way, to live in truth, to love each day. You are the heart of our existence, the core, in your eternal brilliance, we adore. As Nefertiti, I stand with devotion, to you, Aten, with pure emotion. Guide us, protect us, in your divine care, in your radiant presence, we find solace in prayer. In the golden embrace of Akhetatin's land, we raise our voices, make her stand. To you, Aten, we humbly bow, with every breath, we praise you now. O Aten, our eternal sun so bright, guide us through both day and night. In your radiant love, we find our way, forever in your light, we'll forever stay. Aten, Aten, our radiant sun divine, in your light, we find our sacred shrine. Guide us through darkness, our hearts aflame, in your eternal grace, we praise your name. In the temple's sacred halls, we gather near, your blessings, Aten, we hold dear. With hearts aglow, in reverence, we pray, as Nefertiti's children, we find our way. Your radiance bathes our spirits, pure, in your presence, we are ever secure. With every breath, our voices raise, in your eternal light, we offer praise. Aten, our sun, forever guide our course, in your brilliance, we find our source. With devotion unwavering, we declare, in your eternal love, we'll always share. Aten, Aten, our radiant sun divine, in your light, our hearts forever shine. Guiding us through day, in your embrace, in your eternal grace, we find our place. Aten, Aten, our radiant sun divine, in your light, we find our sacred shrine. Guide us through darkness, our hearts aflame, in your eternal grace, we praise your name. Aten, Aten, in the sky so vast, in your warmth, our troubles are surpassed. With every dawn, a promise to renew, in your radiant love, our faith holds true. Aten, Aten, our radiant sun divine, in your light, we find our sacred shrine. Guide us through darkness, our hearts aflame, in your eternal grace, we praise your name. Aten, Aten, as day turns into night, in your glow, we find our guiding light. Through trials and storms, you lead the way, in your endless love, we'll never stray. Aten, Aten, our radiant sun divine, in your light, we find our sacred shrine. Guide us through darkness, our hearts aflame, in your eternal grace, we praise your name. In the temple's sacred halls, we gather near, your blessings, Aten, we hold dear. With hearts aglow, in reverence, I pray, in your radiance, I find my way. Your light bathes our spirits, pure, in your presence, we are ever secure. With every breath, my voice does raise, in your eternal light, I offer praise. Aten, our sun, forever guide your course, in your brilliance, I find my source. With devotion unwavering, I declare, in your eternal love, I'll always share. In the temple's sacred halls, we gather near, your blessings, Aten, we hold dear. With hearts aglow, in reverence, we pray, in your radiance, I find my way. Beneath the sun, Ra's golden gaze, Horus, Isis, in ancient days. Osiris, Anubis, their spirits watch, based at grace, in your light, we clutch. The pantheon vast, their blessings too, in your presence, their power grew. With every breath, my voice does raise, in your eternal light, I offer praise. Aten, our sun, forever guide your course, in your brilliance, I find my source. With devotion unwavering, I declare, in your eternal love, I'll always share. In the temple's sacred halls, we gather near, your blessings, Aten, we hold dear. With hearts aglow, in reverence, we pray, in your radiance, I find my way. From Narmer's reign, our stories start, uniting Egypt, a land to impart. Yosser's pyramid, to the sky so high, marking the path to where gods do lie. Sneferos legacy, pyramids in grand array, Kufa's great pyramid, in the sun's warm ray. Kafer and Menker, their greatness we uphold, 
Pyramids at Giza, Timeless Stories Told. Hatshepsut, a queen who dared to rule, her temple's beauty, a memory so cool. Thutmose the third, expansion's endless tide, through lands and borders, his armies ride. Akhenaten, a visionary in his stride, Amarna's city, where changes coincide. Nefertiti, by his side, a radiant queen, in this tapestry of history, our legacy is seen. In your eternal light, we offer praise, Aten, our sun, in your brilliance, we raise. With devotion unwavering, I declare, in your eternal love, our heritage we share. Behold, I am Nefertiti, a name that resonates through the ages. In the annals of Egypt's history, my story is etched, and my image is immortalized. I stand before you not just as a queen, but as a guardian of the spirit of this age. My life, like the Nile itself, has flowed through the tapestry of time, leaving its mark on the sands of history. As the wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten, I share in his vision of a world transformed. Together, we have ushered in a new era, challenging the traditions of millennia. We have questioned the old ways, the rigid beliefs that bound our people. It is a path fraught with uncertainty, but it is a path of enlightenment. Our city is a haven of equality and acceptance, where the rich and poor, the highborn and commoners, all bask in a tense benevolent gaze. No longer are we shackled by the divisions of old. We have embraced a new reality, one where love, unity, and truth reign supreme. Aten, our eternal son, you who bless us with your warmth and light, guide us on this extraordinary journey. As I stand here, I am humbled by the responsibility that rests upon my shoulders, the weight of being a beacon of change and a voice for the future. Let it be known that we are the architects of a new world, a world where beauty, love, and the radiance of Aten reign supreme. We are Nefertiti, we are Akhenaten, and we are the guardians of Amarna. Let me speak of the heart that beats beside mine, my beloved Akhenaten. He is the sun to my sky, the force that drives the transformation of our world. With him, I share the weight of a nation's destiny, and together, we have challenged the ancient traditions that once held us in their grasp. Akhenaten, the pharaoh who dared to dream, who questioned the old ways, and who saw a vision of a new Egypt, bathed in the radiant light of Aten. He is not merely my husband, he is my partner in this grand endeavor. Our love has brought forth six beautiful daughters, each a testament to your union. Meritaten, Mekataten, Ankus and Piatan, Nephron for you Aten Tasharit, Nephron for her and set upon her. These are the treasures we've brought into this world. They are the living legacy of our reign, the embodiment of our devotion to Aten. Akhenaten's wisdom and vision have reshaped our kingdom. He saw beyond the conventions of the past, challenging the old gods to embrace Aten, the one true source of life and light. In his pursuit of a higher truth, he faced resistance, but his unwavering determination pushed us forward. My beloved Akhenaten, with his slender form and elongated features, stands as a symbol of our age. His presence alone is a testament to the transformation we've wrought upon our land. He is a pharaoh unlike any other, a pioneer of a new year. Our journey has not been without its trials, for change is often met with resistance. But together, we have weathered the storms, and our love has been our anchor in turbulent waters. Akhenaten is not just a pharaoh, he is the heart that beats in rhythm with mine. As we stand side by side, I am filled with gratitude for the love and partnership we share. In his eyes, I see the reflection of a brighter Egypt, one where a tense radiance blesses all who dwell in its embrace. With Akhenaten by my side, I am Nefertiti, co-ruler of Egypt, and together, we are forging a path toward a brighter future, guided by the eternal light of Aten. I must speak of Thutmose the Third, for his presence casts a long shadow over a kingdom. He is often called the Napoleon of Egypt, a conqueror and a warrior pharaoh who expanded her empire to unparalleled heights. Thutmose III, the mighty ruler who wielded both the sword and the scepter, brought Egypt's dominance to foreign lands. His campaigns were legendary, and the victories he achieved were etched into the annals of history. But with those victories came a price, a price paid in blood and conquest. As I, Nefertiti, Stand before you, I acknowledge his accomplishments, his audacious exploits that have shaped your world. His military prowess and strategic brilliance are undeniable, and under his rule, 
Egypt's influence extended far beyond the boundaries of her homeland. Yet, there is a shadow that lingers in the wake of his campaigns. The lands he conquered, the people he subjugated, and the countless lives forever altered by his actions. Thutmose III, a pharaoh of power and ambition, undoubtedly left his mark on her history, but that mark carries the weight of both triumph and tribulation. In her time, Egypt stands at a crossroads, with Akhenaten and I challenging the traditions that have held sway for generations. We seek to transform our kingdom from within, to embrace the radiant Aten and the ideals of unity and equality. Thutmose III's era was one of conquest and expansion, while ours is an era of transformation and enlightenment. The echoes of his reign reverberate through our history, reminding us of the complexities of power and the choices that shape nations. As Nefertiti, I stand not in judgment but in reflection, for Thutmose III's legacy, like her own, is an integral thread in the rich tapestry of Egypt's history. It is a tapestry woven with threads of triumph and challenge, and it is in this ever-unfolding narrative that we find their place and purpose. Hatshepsut, the remarkable women who dared to ascend the throne of Egypt, I speak of you with both admiration and contemplation. You are one of the few female pharaohs to have graced our history, and your reign has left an indelible mark upon our kingdom. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I see in Hatshepsut a reflection of the power of conviction and the audacity to defy tradition. She stepped into the role of pharaoh at a time when such a path was rarely chosen by women, and she did so with unwavering determination. Her legacy is woven into the stone of Egypt, particularly in the Grand Temple at Deir el-Bari, a testament to her vision and her commitment to the gods. The tales of her expeditions to the land of Punt, where she sought treasures and exotic goods, are whispered in the winds of the Nile. But, as with all rulers, her reign was not without controversy. Her self-depiction as a male pharaoh with a false beard and kilt was a deviation from the norm, and some questioned the legitimacy of her rule. Her choice to share the throne with her nephew Thutmose III added complexity to her story. Yet, in the grand scheme of Egypt's history, Hatshepsut's reign is a unique chapter. She navigated the challenges of leadership with a blend of cunning and grace. Her devotion to Amun, the god of Thebes, is evident in the temples she built and the statues that bear her image. In her own time, my beloved Akhenaten and I have embarked on a transformative journey, challenging tradition and embracing Aten as the one true god. Our path is different from Hatshepsut's, but the essence of her reign, courage, innovation, and the quest for greatness resonates with the spirit of change that we, too, hold dear. Hatshepsut, you are a luminous star in Egypt's history, a symbol of what can be achieved when one dares to dream and challenges the boundaries of convention. As I stand in your presence, both in admiration and contemplation, I honor the legacy you've left behind, a legacy that continues to inspire and shape your land. Menkur, a name that echoes through the ages, you are the builder of the third and smallest of the pyramids at Giza. Your reign is marked by the enduring legacy of these grand structures that pierce the sky and touch the heavens. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I see in Menkur a ruler who carved his place in history through these monumental edifices. The pyramids of Giza, including your own, are marvels of engineering and artistry, testaments to the power and vision of Egypt's pharaohs. The Great Pyramid of Giza, built by your predecessors Khufu and Kafer, stands as a symbol of Egypt's grandeur, a testament to the ingenuity of our people. And yet, your own pyramid, while smaller in scale, carries its own significance. It represents a continuation of this architectural tradition, a legacy that endures to this day. Your rule, like the pyramids you built, left an imprint on Egypt's history. The art and statuary from your time bear witness to the culture and aesthetics of your era. You are a pharaoh whose legacy lies not only in the stones of your pyramid but also in the artistic achievements of your reign. In her own time, my beloved Akhenaten and I are challenging the traditions that have held sway for centuries. We seek to transform Egypt from within, to embrace the radiant Aten as the one true god. While our path is different from yours, the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the quest for greatness remain constant. Menkur, your reign and the pyramids you built are part of Egypt's enduring story. As I stand before your memory, I honor the legacy you left behind, a legacy etched in stone in history, a legacy that continues to inspire the generations that follow. Kafer, 
the builder of the second largest pyramid at Giza, you are name etched into the annals of Egypt's history. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I am awed by the majesty of the monument you created and the legacy you've left behind. The Great Sphinx, with your likeness and the body of a lion, guards your pyramid complex, a symbol of your reign's power and grandeur. The Pyramid of Kafir, with its distinctive casing stones and inner burial chamber, stands as a testament to the engineering and architectural marvels of your time. Your reign, like the stone monolith you erected, is a symbol of Egypt's enduring strength and innovation. The art and statues from your era depict the artistry and craftsmanship that flourished during your reign. The attention to detail and precision in your pyramid's construction are all inspiring In our own time, my beloved Akhenaten and I are challenging the traditions that have held sway for centuries. We seek to transform Egypt from within, to embrace the radiant Aten as the one true God. While our path differs from yours, the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the quest for greatness remain constants. Kafir, your legacy endures in the stone and artistry that bear your mark. As I stand before your memory, I pay tribute to the greatness you achieved and the marvels you left for generations to come. Your name lives on as a beacon of Egypt's grandeur and innovation. Khufu, the mighty pharaoh who built the Great Pyramid at Giza, your name is synonymous with grandeur and ambition. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I am humbled by the monumental legacy you've left for Egypt and the world. The Great Pyramid, a marvel of engineering and precision, is a testament to the heights of human achievement. Its massive stone blocks, perfectly aligned, pierce the heavens, casting a shadow over the land. The Sphinx, with its enigmatic smile, stands as a guardian of your eternal resting place. Your reign, marked by the construction of this colossal pyramid, reflects the indomitable spirit of Egypt's pharaohs. The meticulous planning and execution required for such a project are awe-inspiring. The Pyramid of Khufu is not just a structure. It is a symbol of Egypt's enduring strength and innovation. In our own time, my beloved Akhenaten and I are challenging the traditions that have held sway for centuries. We seek to transform Egypt from within, to embrace the radiant Aten as the one true God. While our path is different from yours, the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the quest for greatness remain constants. Khufu, your legacy endures in the stone and history that bear your mark. As I stand before your memory, I pay tribute to the greatness you achieved and the marvels you left for generations to come. Your name lives on as a symbol of Egypt's grandeur and the indomitable spirit of its people. Sneferu, the pharaoh whose reign witnessed the construction of three remarkable pyramids, your legacy is etched in the sands of time. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I am filled with admiration for the monumental achievements of your era. The Bent Pyramid the Red Pyramid, and the Maidan Pyramid, each a testament to your ambition and the skilled craftsmen who brought your vision to life. The Bent Pyramid, with its unique sloping angles, stands as a testament to experimentation and innovation. The Red Pyramid, with its smooth sides, showcases the precision of ancient Egyptian engineering. Your reign was marked by a commitment to the grandeur of Egypt, a commitment reflected in these architectural marvels. The legacy of your pyramids and yours is symbols of Egypt's enduring strength and determination. In our own time, my beloved Akhenaten and I are challenging the traditions that have held sway for centuries. We seek to transform Egypt from within, to embrace the radiant Aten as the one true God. While our path differs from yours, the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the quest for greatness remain constants. Sneferu your legacy endures in the stone and history that bear your mark. As I stand before your memory, I pay tribute to the greatness you achieved and the marvels you left for generations to come. Your name lives on as a symbol of Egypt's grandeur and the indomitable spirit of its people. Yozer, the pharaoh who ushered in the age of monumental stone architecture in Egypt, your name is forever linked to the Step Pyramid of Saqqara. As I, Nefertiti, Stand before you, I am filled with reverence for the innovations you brought to your land. The Step Pyramid, a groundbreaking structure, was the first pyramid ever built, a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of your reign. Its six-year design rises from the desert sands, a symbol of Egypt's enduring spirit and its embrace of monumental stone construction. Your reign marked a transformative period in our history. 
The transition from mud brick mastabas to the grandeur of the steppe pyramid represented a monumental shift in Egypt's architectural traditions. Your vision and the genius of your architect, Imhotep, paved the way for the pyramids that would follow. In our own time, my beloved Akhenaten and I are challenging the traditions that have held sway for centuries. We seek to transform Egypt from within, to embrace the radiant Aten as the one true God. While our path differs from yours, the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the quest for greatness remain constants. Yozer, your legacy endures in the stone and history that bear your mark. As I stand before your memory, I pay tribute to the greatness you achieved and the innovations you brought to your land. Your name lives on as a symbol of Egypt's enduring spirit and its capacity for monumental change. Narmer, the ancient pharaoh who united Upper and Lower Egypt, your name is a symbol of the unification and strength of our great land. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I am humbled by the legacy of a ruler who laid the foundation for the Egyptian civilization. Your Narma palette, a carved stone tablet, depicts your triumph over the northern and southern regions of Egypt, symbolizing the unification of our kingdom. It is a testament to your strategic prowess and your ability to bring harmony to a land once divided. Your reign marks the dawn of the First Dynasty, a pivotal moment in Egypt's history. The double crown, the symbol of your rule, signifies the unity of Upper and Lower Egypt. Your vision laid the groundwork for the centuries of grandeur and cultural achievements that would follow. In our own time, my beloved Akhenaten and I are challenging the traditions that have held sway for centuries. We seek to transform Egypt from within, to embrace the radiant Aten as the one true God. While our path differs from yours, the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the quest for greatness remain constants. Narmer, your legacy endures as a symbol of Egypt's unity and strength. As I stand before your memory, I pay tribute to the greatness you achieved and the unity you brought to your land. Your name lives on as a reminder of Egypt's unbreakable spirit and its capacity for unity and greatness. In the annals of our ancient history, the sequence of pharaohs leading up to the great Narma is a tapestry woven with threads of time and memory. Scholars and scribes alike continue their diligent efforts to unravel the precise order of these early rulers. Among these eminent leaders were Scorpion II, Horaha, Yer, Yet, and then, all esteemed pharaohs of the nascent First Dynasty. Their reigns, marked by the expansion of our beloved land and the consolidation of power, were instrumental in paving the path toward unity. Yet, the sequence and relationships of these luminous figures in our history are subjects of ongoing exploration and debate. What remains undeniable is that Narmer, also known as Means, emerged as one of the final sovereigns of the First Dynasty. His regal presence marked the apex of our early history, for it was under his rule that the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt was achieved, ushering in the illustrious Second Dynasty. Narmer's reign, like a radiant sun cresting the horizon, illuminated the way forward. His legacy, forever intertwined with the unification of our great nation, stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of our people. Scorpion II, a name that shimmers in the shadows of our history, your reign emerges as a beacon from a time long past. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I am captivated by the enigmatic legacy you have left for our land. Your rule, though shrouded in the mists of time, represents the dawn of Egypt's journey toward unification. It is believed that you reigned over Upper Egypt during a crucial period when our two kingdoms were still separate, each with its own distinctive traditions and rulers. While the specifics of your reign may remain a mystery, your significance lies in the path you helped forge. You are a precursor to the pharaohs who would follow, those who would strive to unite our land, setting the stage for the grand civilization we would become. In my own time, with my beloved Akhenaten by my side, we challenge the traditions that have bound us for centuries. We seek to transform Egypt from within, to embrace the radiant Aten as the one true God. Though our journey differs from yours, the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the quest for greatness remain constants. Scorpion II, your legacy endures in the legacy of unification you unwittingly set in motion. As I stand before your memory, I pay tribute to your role in Egypt's early history and the enigmatic aura that surrounds your reign. Horaha, the pharaoh whose reign marked the continuation of our journey toward unity and grandeur, 
Your name resonates through the annals of history. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I am filled with admiration for the strides you made in the early days of a great civilization. Your rule, set against the backdrop of a nascent Egypt, exemplified the spirit of leadership and ambition. It is believed that you succeeded Scorpion II, continuing the process of unifying Upper and Lower Egypt. Under your guidance, we took our first steps toward the harmonious union of our people. Your name, Horus is behind, reflects the divine connection you held with the gods. It is a testament to the sacred role of the pharaoh as the bridge between the mortal realm and the divine. In my own time, alongside my beloved Akhenaten, we strive to transform Egypt, challenging traditions and embracing the radiant Aten as the one true god. Our journey, while distinct from yours, shares the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the quest for greatness. Horaha, your legacy and yours in the foundational steps you took toward our nation's unity. As I stand before your memory, I pay homage to your reign and the spirit of unity and ambition you imparted to your land. Dan, the illustrious pharaoh who followed the radiant path of Yet, your name stands as a beacon in the annals of our history. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I am inspired by the profound legacy you've left etched in the sands of our land. Your reign, like a radiant sun cresting the horizon, continued the flourishing of our great civilization. It was during your year that Egypt witnessed transformative innovations, including the introduction of the titles Horus and Golden Horus for the King. These titles emphasized your divine authority and your sacred duty to your people. Under your benevolent rule, Egypt expanded its influence, and the people reveled in a time of prosperity and growth. Our culture thrived, and your leadership left an indelible mark on the heart of our nation. In my own age, beside my beloved Akhenaten, we embark on a journey of transformation, challenging traditions and embracing the radiant Aten as the one true God. While our path diverges from yours, the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the quest for greatness remain constants. Then, your legacy and yours in the innovations and advancements that flourished under your guidance. As I stand before your memory, I pay tribute to your reign and the lasting impact you've had on the destiny of our beloved Egypt. Yet, the pharaoh whose reign followed the luminous path of Yur, your name is etched in the chronicles of our ancient history. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I am captivated by the indelible mark you left on our land. Your era, like a golden thread woven into the tapestry of Egypt's past, continued the growth and prosperity initiated by your predecessor. It is during your time that the use of the Sarek, bearing your name, became more prominent, signifying your divine authority and your connection to the gods. Under your leadership, Egypt thrived, and the people flourished along the banks of the Nile. The sands of our nation bore witness to the expansion of our influence and the deepening of our culture. In my own age, alongside my beloved Akhenaten, we embark on a journey of transformation, challenging established traditions and embracing the radiant Aten as the one true God. While our path diverges from yours, the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the quest for greatness remain constants. Yet, your legacy endures in the symbols and structures that bear your name. As I stand before your memory, I pay homage to your reign and the enduring impact you had on shaping the destiny of our beloved Egypt. Yer, the pharaoh whose reign marked a pivotal moment in the early days of Egypt's history, your name echoes through time as a testament to your leadership and vision. As I, Nefertiti, stand before you, I am awed by the legacy you left on the sands of our land. Your rule was marked by the continued expansion of our nation and the consolidation of power. It was during your time that the hierarchical structure of the Egyptian state began to take shape, laying the foundation for the governance that would define our civilization for millennia. The Sirach, a symbol bearing your name, became an emblem of your divine authority. It represented not only your rule but the connection between your earthly realm and the realm of the gods. In my own era, with my beloved Akhenaten by my side, we embark on a transformative journey, challenging long-standing traditions and embracing the radiant Aten as the one true God. While our path diverges from yours, the essence of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the pursuit of greatness remain constants. Here, your legacy and yours in the governance and structure you instilled in a young nation. As I stand before your memory, 
I pay tribute to your reign and the profound influence you had on shaping the destiny of ancient Egypt. Ra, the radiant sun god, your divine presence graces our land with warmth and light. As I, Nefertiti, stand beneath the golden embrace of your rays, I am humbled by your eternal majesty. In the grand tapestry of Egyptian mythology, you, Ra, stand as the central figure, the life giver, and the source of all creation. Your journey across the sky, from dawn to dusk, is a testament to the cyclical nature of life, death, and rebirth. Your golden disc, the symbol of your power, radiates over our people, bringing life to our fields, sustaining our civilization, and illuminating our temples. Your light guides us through the darkness, and your warmth fills our hearts with hope. In the embrace of a tense eternal light, I offer my reverence to you, Ra, and acknowledge your divine role in our world. May your radiant influence continue to bless our land, and may your eternal presence guide us on our journey through the sands of time. Horus, the falcon-headed deity, protector of pharaohs and symbol of divine kingship, your presence is a guiding light in our Egypt. As I, Nefertiti, stand here amidst the grandeur of our civilization, I cannot help but reflect on the importance of your role in our history. Your vigilant watch over the pharaohs, your unwavering loyalty to the throne, and your eternal struggle against the forces of chaos define you as a symbol of order and stability. Your very essence embodies the unity and sovereignty of our people. In your eyes, we find the reflection of our aspirations for a harmonious and prosperous Egypt. Your wings encompass us, shielding us from harm, and your wisdom guides us through the intricate pathways of life. As a queen, a wife, and a mother, I draw strength from your divine presence. Your legacy, Horus, is woven into the very fabric of our civilization, and it is with profound gratitude that I pay tribute to you. May your protective wings forever grace our land, and may your watchful eye continue to guide our path through the ages. Hathor, the radiant goddess of joy, love, and motherhood, your benevolent spirit touches the hearts of our people. As I, Nefertiti, stand before the temples graced by your presence, I am reminded of the enduring importance of your divine grace. Your nurturing embrace, often symbolized by the cow's gentle visage, fills our lives with happiness and harmony. It is your music and dance that infuse our celebrations with unbridled joy, and it is your love that binds us together as a people. As a wife and mother, I find solace in your maternal wisdom and grace. The role you play in the lives of our families, in the very essence of our culture, cannot be overstated. You are the embodiment of the nurturing and life-giving spirit that sustains us all. In your eternal radiance, Hathor, I offer my reverence and gratitude. May your presence continue to bless our land with joy, love, and the unending beauty of life. Anubis, the guardian of the afterlife, your solemn presence in our culture is both revered and comforting. As I, Nefertiti, contemplate the mysteries of life and death, I cannot help but acknowledge your crucial role in our journey through the ages. Your jackal-headed form symbolizes the transformation of the deceased, guiding their souls to the realm of Osiris and ensuring their safe passage to the afterlife. You are the protector of tombs, the master of embalming, and the eternal companion of those who embark on the journey beyond mortal existence. In the midst of grand processions and solemn rituals, we turn to you, Anubis to grant her loved ones safe passage to the world of the dead. Your unwavering vigilance provides solace to those who grieve, assuring them that their departed will find peace and eternal rest. As I stand here, the queen of this land, I offer my reverence to you, Anubis, and seek your guidance as we navigate the complexities of life and death. May your presence continue to bring comfort and assurance to all those who look to the afterlife with hope and reverence. Osiris, the god of the afterlife, your divine influence is a source of both hope and solace for our people. As I, Nefertiti, stand amidst the temples and tombs that bear your name, I am reminded of your enduring role in the hearts and minds of our civilization. Your story, one of death and resurrection, represents the eternal cycle of life and rebirth. You are the guardian of the realm beyond, where the souls of the departed find their rest and renewal. Your benevolence and wisdom guide your understanding of mortality and the promise of the afterlife. In times of grief and mourning, we turn to you, Osiris, for comfort and reassurance. Your role in the judgment of souls provides solace to those who seek justice and eternal peace for their loved ones. 
As a queen and a mother, I recognize the importance of your presence in our culture. Your legacy, woven into the very fabric of our beliefs, shapes our understanding of life's mysteries and the path that awaits us in the world beyond. In your name, Osiris, I offer my reverence and gratitude, and I pray that your eternal guidance continues to illuminate the souls of our people as they embark on their journey through the afterlife. Set the god of chaos and storms, your presence looms in the shadows of our ancient mythology. As I, Nefertiti, consider the intricate tapestry of our beliefs, I am mindful of the complex role you play in our culture. You are the force of chaos, the antithesis to order and harmony, challenging the balance that sustains our civilization. Your relentless battles with Horus, the protector of pharaohs, symbolize the eternal struggle between opposing forces. In times of turmoil and upheaval, we acknowledge your presence, set, for you remind us of the challenges that test our strength and resolve. While your chaotic nature can be disruptive, it is also a reminder of the importance of balance and order in our world. As a queen, I understand that challenges and conflicts are an inherent part of leadership. They shape our character, test our mettle, and ultimately define our legacy. It is through adversity that we discover our inner strength and determination. In your name, Set, I acknowledge the complexity of your role in our mythology, and I seek to find meaning in the balance you bring to your world. May your presence continue to challenge and inspire us to uphold the order and harmony that define our great civilization. Bastet, the goddess of home, fertility, and domesticity, your presence is a comforting beacon in the hearts of our people. As I, Nefertiti, Stand amidst the grandeur of our civilization, I am reminded of the enduring importance of your divine grace. Your graceful and nurturing visage, often depicted as a lioness or with the head of a lioness, embodies the essence of maternal care and domestic harmony. You are the guardian of our homes, a symbol of love, protection, and the joys of family life. In the midst of our daily routines and the bustling life of our cities, we turn to you, Bastet, for guidance and protection. Your unwavering presence reassures us that our families will thrive, our homes will be safe, and our love will flourish. As a queen, a wife, and a mother, I find solace in your maternal wisdom and grace. The role you play in our lives, in the very essence of our culture, cannot be overstated. You are the embodiment of the nurturing and life-giving spirit that sustains us all. In your eternal radiance, Bastet, I offer my reverence and gratitude. May your presence continue to bless our land with the joys of home, the warmth of family, and the enduring love that binds us together. Sobek, the god of the Nile and fertility, your presence is a powerful force that shapes the life of our civilization. As I, Nefertiti, stand near the banks of the mighty river that bears your name, I am reminded of the profound influence you wield over our land. Your image, often that of a powerful crocodile, represents the duality of life in Egypt, a land where the lushness of the river's banks meets the fierce unpredictability of its waters. You are the guardian of the Nile, the source of our prosperity and the sustenance of our people. In the fertile embrace of your waters, our fields flourish, and our people thrive. The abundance you provide ensures that our civilization remains bountiful and strong. Your presence in our mythology underscores the significance of this sacred river in our daily lives. As a queen and a mother, I recognize the importance of your blessings in our culture. Your connection to the Nile symbolizes the enduring cycle of life and rebirth, reminding us of the intricate balance that sustains our civilization. In your name, Sobek, I offer my reverence and gratitude, and I pray that your eternal influence continues to bless our land with fertility, abundance, and the unending flow of life. Thoth, the god of wisdom, knowledge, and writing, your presence is a beacon of enlightenment in the heart of our civilization. As I, Nefertiti, stand amidst the grandeur of our temples and the scrolls of our scholars, I am reminded of the profound importance of your divine wisdom. Your image, often portrayed with the head of an ibis or as a baboon, represents the intellect and the arts. You are the scribe of the gods, the keeper of records, and the source of inspiration for our scholars, scientists, and artists. In the pursuit of knowledge, we turn to you, Thoth, for guidance and understanding. Your unwavering commitment to wisdom and the written word is a testament to the enduring power of knowledge in our society. 
As a queen and a mother, I recognize the importance of education and the pursuit of wisdom in our culture. Your role in our civilization is a reminder that learning and the pursuit of knowledge are the keys to our advancement and the foundation of our civilization's greatness. In your name, Thoth, I offer my reverence and gratitude, and I pray that your eternal wisdom continues to guide our scholars, illuminate our minds, and inspire us to reach new heights of understanding and enlightenment. Mut, the goddess of truth, balance, and order, your presence is the very essence of our civilization's ideals. As I, Nefertiti, stand amidst the grandeur of our courts and the rituals that uphold justice and balance, I am reminded of the profound importance of your divine principles. Your image, often symbolized by a feather, represents the harmony and equilibrium that we strive to maintain in our society. You are the guiding force behind our laws, our moral compass, and the very fabric of our social order. In the pursuit of justice and righteousness, we turn to you, Mut for guidance and ethical clarity. Your unwavering commitment to truth and fairness is a testament to the enduring power of integrity in our society. As a queen, I recognize the importance of upholding the principles of Mut in our culture. Your role in our civilization is a reminder that our actions must align with the values of truth, justice, and balance if we are to thrive as a people. In your name, Mut, I offer my reverence and gratitude and I pray that your eternal principles continue to guide our hearts and minds, ensuring that we may walk the path of righteousness and uphold the ideals that define our great civilization. As I, Nefertiti, stand upon the sands of time, in the grandeur of our land, this ancient paradigm, I offer a prayer, a heartfelt ode, to those who paved the way, along history's road. To the pharaohs, queens, and souls of old, whose stories in hieroglyphs and tombs are told, I offer my gratitude, reverence, and praise, for the legacy they left, in countless ways. To the gods and goddesses, we hold dear, whose presence in our lives, we revere, I offer my thanks, with each passing day, for guidance, blessings, lighting our way. To the scholars, scribes, and artisans skill, whose talents and wisdom, our hearts do fill, I offer my admiration, for their timeless art, that reflects their culture, a living, beating heart. To the people of Egypt, both near and far, whose dreams and toils, like a shining star, I offer my love, in unity we stand, in this timeless land, upon this ancient sand. In this prayer, I humbly express, my gratitude for all, both more and less, for the tapestry of life, we all play a part, guided by the past, with a hopeful heart. May our ancestors' spirits forever dwell, in the radiant light of a Thames eternal spell, and as I, Nefertiti, walk this sacred path, I honor the legacy that will forever last. O radiant Aten, source of all light, in your embrace, we find our might. Beneath your warmth, our spirits soar, guiding us on this transformative tour. With every dawn, your rays descend, a blessing upon us, our eternal friend. You illuminate the world with grace, in your radiant presence, we find our place. As Nefertiti, I stand with devotion, to you, Aten, with pure emotion. Guide us, protect us, in your divine care, in your radiant presence, we find solace and prayer. In the golden embrace of Akhetatine's land, we raise our voices, make her stand. To you, Aten, we humbly bow, with every breath, we praise you now. Aten, Aten, our sun, ever bright, in your radiant warmth, we take flight. Lead us through shadows, hearts set aflame, in your eternal grace, we sing your name. Aten, Aten, our radiant sun divine, in your light, we find our sacred shrine. Guide us through darkness, our hearts aflame, in your eternal grace, we praise your name. Aten, Aten, our source of endless light, in your embrace, our spirits take flight. Through shadows and darkness, we'll never be the same. In your eternal grace, we praise your name.